Alright, welcome back to Dilly Squat Gaming where we are dangerously low on fuel so we are going to skip any introduction and just start going. Uh, so right now we are working towards the quarry. Well, actually, scratch that. We're working towards the, uh, the warehouse there so we're going to run out of gas. There's, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, we're gonna start chugging in about five gallons. We've, we're, we're gonna try to get to this fuel station, but it just isn't gonna happen. Uh, by some miracle, maybe it might, but I highly doubt it. Uh, especially when the truck starts doing this. Come on. Get through that mud. All right, we need to, we also, well, we need to pick up four beams. Sorry, scratch that. Two beans. <laughs> it's four slots of beans. Uh, but yeah, we, uh, we kind of knew this was going to happen. Yeah, we've got a, just a nightmare of mud here. And we're going to need at least 20 gallons just to get through here, so. Lo and behold, we are stuck, which is why we, uh, we outfitted, I believe it was the, the, uh, as off. Yeah, the 5.9, or the 5.319. Uh, so you know what? Why don't we just go ahead? We're gonna go a long route. Oops, thought I switched to the as off. There we go. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let that just kind of run out of gas because it's, yeah, it, it's not gonna make it, so. But we do have gas on here and we do have, uh, spare parts so we should be able to repair any issues that we have with the MK38. <clears throat> so let's uh yeah let's make our way over there and uh yeah we'll see what we can do. It's always it's always nice to have one of these mobile uh response units <laughs> where we can deliver fuel and or supplies for repair. Uh, I think the only thing we don't have, we may only have like two tires. Uh, speaking of tires, we just took a really bad beating to our suspension and tires. But uh, yeah, anyways, we will uh, we'll get over there. Is that ladder? That ladder does bounce, doesn't it? I like how that's one of those things I just noticed. Uh, maybe it doesn't bounce. Oh, we are taking some horrible damage. But the good news is we're uh, we're making some speed, so that's that's always a plus. I feel like the damage should be uh, exponential to the speed and the object that you hit because running over these little things here that really shouldn't cause any damage no matter what speed you're going unless it's just like you're doing 100 miles an hour and obviously we're not All right. oh she's such a turn slow turner um let's see here ah uh, crap Wait, did I? Did I? Hmm. Okay, there's a truck we're going for. I, uh, I overshot. <laughs> I was all excited with the speed and the rate of travel that, uh, yeah, totally missed her turn off. Uh, not to mention the, uh, the fuel tanker that used to be there ever since we came to Russia, uh, is no longer there, so I've, uh, I've moved it and it, uh, yeah, threw me off. So, uh, is it this one or the next one? No, it is, yeah. All right, well, you know what? It's the next one, either way. For some reason, it looks like that ended, or that uh, the location of the map was off, but it's, it's fine. <clears throat> All right, so. Uh, 
let's just let's just go up and around. I think we'll be okay. This area is a little bit on the muddy side, but maybe if we just throw it in high, we can uh, coast through it pretty easily. Try to avoid any of the deep spots of mud, but I don't think that's going to be possible through here. <clears throat> Oh, uh, close enough. I really wanted the telephone pole, but as usual, the uh, the quick winch does not want to play ball. Nor does it want to play nice either, so. <clears throat> and this, this little divot right here is a very deep hole. <laughs> I wouldn't want to say deep, but you do, you bounce off of it pretty hard. And every time I've gone through there, there's always something you get hung up on, so... I like to, I, I just like to go around it now if I remember. Alright, so we're about a half a mile away from our truck. Uh, do we need to go that way, or do we go straight? We go straight. But not before we stall it, because, of course, right? Why, why would I not stall it? <clears throat> you know what? That ladder does move. I don't care what anyone says. It is definitely moving. So it's the funny things that you notice 900 hours into the game. <laughs> Actually, I'm probably well over 100 hours into this game. And there's things that I'm just seeing for the first time or realizing. Alright, I think we go straight through here. Probably should have got better bearings. Or possibly even use my waypoint. Um, oh, speaking of waypoints, I was shocked to see that there is a mud runner for the VR. Oh, wait, where am I going? I am going way off the trail. We gotta go around all this mud, not through it. Uh, but yes, yeah, so apparently if you have the Oculus, you can download Mudrunner VR now. Never even heard about it until I watched a video on it on YouTube, and I was just like, what? I didn't realize this was a thing. Um, so I'm hoping the person that I watched it from starts doing a series, because it would be uh, rather interesting. And unfortunately, I don't have an Oculus, so... Uh, I can't play it, which I'm a little sad, but, you know, probably not going to run out and get a VR system just to play one game. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I mean, if you guys want to, you know, sponsor me with an Oculus, that would be amazing. <laughs> but uh, no, no, I, I, yeah, no, that would, that would be crazy. I wouldn't even know how you record on it, too. Like, how do I... I guess I'd have to watch YouTube videos on it, because that's what I do for everything when I don't know. Uh, there must be a way that you can uh, either record what you're watching or plug it into your computer and have it record what you're what you see. Uh, but anyways, yeah, it looked uh, looked like a lot of fun. Uh, but what I was gonna say there is, when you set a waypoint, it actually finds the path for you. You don't have to figure out your path that you want to go. Um, it will probably just does the fastest or the, uh, the, the least distance route. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was, I don't know, for some reason when I said white point, it reminded me of that. And so I just, yeah, thought I'd give a shout out and say that if you guys do have an Oculus, you know, go check it out. It uh, looks pretty good. I wish I could play it myself, but unfortunately, like I said, I don't have one, so... Um, and I don't plan on running out anytime soon to get a Oculus to play a game. Um, I'm also not a fan of Meta or Facebook, um, so... But that's, that's probably a whole nother episode of, of basically them trying to control all your information and sell it. So yeah. Anyways, we won't we won't go there. And if you uh, if you are in love with Meta, then I apologize. 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. We can we can still enjoy SnowRunner together and not agree on meta. So yeah, there you go. Uh, it's an it's an amazing little concept that uh, people seem to forget these days. Anyways, moving on before I start getting into politics and all that other fun stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, we are uh, almost there. We're uh, a tenth of a mile. And somewhere up here, I'm hoping we turn. Yes, I think right here is the road. Oh, so, so close. Actually, a couple times we came close to uh, tipping over, trying to get back through here, but. All right, there's our vehicle. That's what we need to refuel. I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll go ahead and repair it too, because it's probably not doing too well. Uh, which isn't overly surprising considering... Didn't, I must have got the upgrade from down there. That looks like a fun little hill to try to climb out of. Anyways. I don't I don't see an upgrade down there anymore, so I'm, I'm sure I got it. Uh, it's amazing how fast you forget certain things. All right, come on, truck. You can get there. You can get there. All right, now if, if I remember correctly, we left this running. Uh, let's not get this stuck. But I left this running, and it looks like it has stopped. Uh, no, it's down to one gallon of gas, and it's still idling. That's amazing. Okay, let's refuel. Uh, the source will be maintenance trailer. We will fill all 53 gallons up. And uh, let's see what we need to repair. Uh, gas tank. Wait, what? Repair. Am I too far away to repair? Or is this one of those things where I realize that... No, I don't want to recover. I want to repair. Thank you. Hmm. You know what? I have a... I think I know what it is. Repair. Yep, that's what it is. And it's the civilian, so we're going to repair the gas tank, we're going to repair the engine, suspension, and we're good to go. Alright, so, let's stop the engine here, let's change trucks, and uh, yeah, let's get over to the warehouse. And there really is not a, a good way to say this, but we pretty much have to go back the way we came. <clears throat> Too bad this didn't uh, have a trailer that I could have loaded the peeps on and then transferred them to this truck once we uh, repaired it, but you know what, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Uh, so yeah, I was also told uh, in the comments that you switch your muzzle which is your exhaust pipe uh, to stock it will uh, it will get rid of the, uh, the smoke effect so I think with this type of muzzle or exhaust it, it causes a lot of smoke where the other ones maybe have heat shields and things of that nature that would that could cause the smoke to uh, come out a lot lighter or cooler or or something it, ha it has something to do with probably cooling <laughs> uh, where this is just basically a straight up pipe pumping out the uh, pumping out the exhaust so or it's just a glitch with the game who knows it, it, it's probably more than likely a glitch with the game <laughs> unless unless your exhaust has like a catalytic converter in it and then that will clean everything up before it comes out where this one is literally just a straight pipe and so it uh, has no type of pre-filter or filter anyways that's uh, a pro tip there for you 
If you don't like the amount of smoke you have coming out of your exhaust, change it. <laughs> Which is a little unfortunate because I uh, I like the look of the straight pipe like this. But the, uh, the exhaust can get a little on the annoying side. And yeah, is it me or did the fog kind of turn back on? Yeah, maybe it didn't. It, it does seem to be a little foggy very far in the distance, which is okay by me. Uh, but yeah, I was, I was getting a little annoyed by the fog and just how blurry everything looked and dark and dingy. And so I opted to uh, shut that off. And I think a lot of people agreed that uh, that's kind of looks better. You know, your your maps look a little bit more vibrant. You get more color. So, yeah, uh, you know what? We're going to leave it for now. We're going to leave it and see, uh, see if I ever notice it again. <laughs> Chances, chances are I won't. All right, so we've got quite a ways to go to get to these metal beams. Oh man, I really hope there weren't metal beams back in the quarry. Uh, because this is a uh, this is a long ways to go. I'm, I'm still at the point where I, I don't want to cut anything out. And I think everyone is enjoying the fact that I don't cut anything out. Um, so I kind of want to keep that. But at the same time, taking, what, probably a half an hour to 45 minutes just to pick up two items. Uh, it's making for long videos, right? So... And then it's also making for a lot of commentary. <laughs> so I have to keep thinking of things to say. And uh, yeah. I can I can think of a million things to say, but unfortunately only a couple things that have to do with SnowRunner. So I, I'd prefer not to go out on tangents of other games or actually other games are okay. I'm not, I don't, I don't hate that, uh, but definitely other things that are not gaming related or snow runner related or even farm simulator related um, yeah so I'm gonna assume that we go up this way I don't really feel like stopping to look yet I think high gear is still the, the right one kind of push through all this mud and terrain. Come on. Yeah, see, I, I want to say right now with the fog, it would be really dark right now. Um, we are getting there to the point where I will turn on the lights so that uh, you guys can see a little bit better. I want a tree that's far away. None of these trees are helping me right now, SnowRunner. Come on. Knock it off. Um, I am a little nervous about uh, how this trailer's going to slow me down when it's got some weight on it, but... I mean, so far it seems to be okay. It's a little low. Uh, it would be nice if that little sidebar there wasn't on the bottom. Uh, just to help not slow the trailer down when it's going through mud. I wonder, you know what? No, yeah. I mean, I could go to the left there, but that's a uh, that's definitely a scout trail. So we're gonna we're gonna avoid that this truck. Nope, there's a happy medium, and it does not want to pick it. Alright, you know what?
There we go. See, it's so much easier to do the uh, interior view, although it was a little bit tougher that time. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, look, and then there's that uh, the puddle I was talking about. Or you just randomly get snagged on stuff. There's some type of glitch there. Pretty sure we can just yank through it. Although it doesn't really want to uh, release me. Let's go way over here and see if that helps. There we go. Yeah, there's just some little glitch there. At least I think it's a glitch. I don't see anything else. Maybe there's a stump there. That's completely buried and you just, you don't see it. But the, uh, the trucks find it every single time. Uh, it's, it's actually quite annoying. Uh, I'm gonna skip to morning. And, uh, yeah, we've got... A little bit farther to go and I know I said I skipped the morning which I did but it uh, really didn't help them but once the Sun starts coming it will obviously work out in the end come on nope. oh that's not really gonna help us that's not gonna help us at all all right, well, we're just going to have to fight through this mud. Come on. Nope, oh, behind doesn't help. Nope, oh, that's not helping either. Come on. It wasn't this hard getting through here with the other truck. And I don't think I went around anywhere. That's a little unfortunate. Sorry, we're getting there. There we go. Just had to find something to winch onto. And uh, yeah, we're getting a little close on their uh, the fuel here. <clears throat> I'm 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 getting a little nervous. I I feel like yeah, this truck just doesn't have the range. It's got half the fuel capacity of other trucks, and it doesn't really have better fuel economy. So maybe this is going to be a downfall of this truck. I, I think we might be, uh, I think we might be seeing it on its last mission through here. Um, it, it's not bad if it stays on the map that it's on, uh, but to do these multi-mission maps, I, I don't think, unless there's enough gas stations, I don't think it's going to be very usable in the future. Which is a little unfortunate, because I do love the tires on it. Just those big, meaty, wide, fat tires. There we go. Come on, we're on solid ground, let's go. Get some grip. There we go. Time to throw all that mud off. <laughs> Should we go that way? Yes, we shall. Uh, 
Um, Alright, hopefully this isn't too bad to get through. The good news is, is that there's a telephone pole there, so we don't even need we don't even need to winch off of it, but it was there just in case. Alright, now the downside is we we again don't have any gas. Um Ooh, that might not be good. I feel like we're by a gas station now. Aren't we? It's just where we were. Yeah, but we're we're already down to ten gallons of fuel. So we are now fully loaded. We are by a fuel station there. But 10 gallons isn't going to make it. Ah, hmm. I don't know what happened, but we lost all of our fuel. The Azov is way over here. And the... Warehouse is here, so I think I'm going to go to the garage and guys, I think I'm going to have to do the Azov. It's a slower truck, but it's got, it's got the fuel and the uh, fuel consumption. <laughs> it's got the fuel capacity and fuel consumption, so. Uh, I think we are going to throw a low saddle on it. And... Do I want a crane? Ooh. It hurts a little bit. I'm gonna say... Yes. <laughs> oh man. Probably should have said no, but it's okay. And uh, I'm going to check something real quick before we drive all the way over there. Because sometimes some trailers don't like to play nice with the crane. Yeah, we're fine. So that's always something to, to check, especially if you're driving all the way over there. You don't want to get all the way over there to find out that, uh, yeah, you don't have the capability of taking the trailer with you, so. Let's go ahead and just drive over there. Luckily, we're relatively close, and uh, the roads are pretty easy. <clears throat> I suppose what we should have done is a train with the Azov and the uh, and the MK and that would have allowed us to have the gas that we needed so um, there's a there's another top tip for you and I, I keep changing the, the name of the tips but um, yeah the MK needs some type of train system or extra fuel carrying capacity capability to really get across multiple maps because I mean technically we didn't get halfway through this map and it already burnt through all its fuel so and it wasn't even loaded down I was just pulling a trailer so yeah but anyways let's uh let's switch out with the truck we get to check out the new the new brown I don't even know what this is I think it's like a flower or leaf pattern something going on not really too sure but I thought well what the we haven't used it so why not All right as you can see this truck is a lot slower <laughs> but we are guzzling less than a gallon a minute means we have an hour and a half of fuel 
where I believe at one point in the Azov, we were, or not the Azov, in the MK, we were sucking down five gallons per minute. And when you only have 50 gallon tank, that, that literally gives you 10 minutes. So, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the reason why. So we're going to switch that truck out. And yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd like to use more than just one truck, but I don't think we have the right truck yet. There's a handful of trucks that I really want to try, but we, we have to find them. Uh, we can't buy them yet, so. And I'm hoping none of them are DLCs that I have to buy, but if they are, I might, I might do it. They're not too expensive, so figured what the heck, why not? All right, I have I have no clue how far away, we are, but we're close. We're getting. There. We'll take this shortcut this time, so we don't have to mess around with the. Uh, the mud puddle right there. We've got we've got enough of those to deal with, so I have a feeling this episode here is going to be straight up for the uh, veterans of my channel. Uh, the guys who watch every every minute. Uh, by the way, I just want to say thank you for doing that because it really helps out the channel. Uh, but yeah, we're not getting much done <laughs> in this episode. We're already over halfway there. And uh, yeah, we're just now picking up the metal beams that we came to get. So, And, and the worst part is, is that it was only this map that's been the culprit. Like, we still have to get, once we get into the quarry map, get to where we're going. So. Let's change trucks real quick. Let's detach. Nope, not delete. Detach. Fire this truck up. And this this truck will probably just sit here until I uh, bring it back. And uh, change trucks. Let's get this hooked up to the Azov. I feel like I'm horribly off. I was. I was horribly off there. Um, now this truck has horrible turning radius, so we're going to have to do a couple turns here. Even with the gooseneck. But the gooseneck does make it much easier to do tight turns like this. Although you end up dragging most of the wheels on the trailer, so... But well, that's okay. That's a small price to pay. Alright, so now we've got to, uh, let's make our way over. We could go up that way to the quarry. We came from this way. And you know what? I'm tempted to go this way. Uh, so, of course, I am going in the wrong direction. Oh yeah, let's, uh, let's remedy that real quick. In with this, this truck and it's horrible turning in hands. <laughs> horrible. That's absolutely, absolutely horrible. Okay, I love this truck. The, the turning radius does kill me though. It is, uh, it's very, very slow. I keep thinking of the, the twin steer. Uh, because I've, I've heard that it's really good. But I, I don't have, I think it's the all-wheel drive. I think it has the diff lock, but it doesn't have all-wheel drive right now. And I don't think you get all-wheel drive until like Polo Peninsula or somewhere, somewhere far away. 
uh, in a different land, maybe Minnesota. I don't really, really recall. I'd have to look it up, but yeah, I, I really want to use that truck. And I just, I haven't because it doesn't function very well with auto-wheel drive, so. Or is it the diff lock? I'm pretty sure it's the diff. Maybe it's both. I know it was it was really disappointing because I, I really wanted to use it when I first got it in uh, yeah that was Michigan that I got that and then it turned out that uh, yeah it, it kind of sucked but they did they did bring out upgrades for it so I'm I'm glad about that that made it uh, more viable and I'm completely for that I'm I'm completely for trucks that are not the greatest without upgrades getting their upgrades it, it kind of sucks that they're technically behind a paywall uh, because you do have to get the ex the year one two three or four uh, pass to be able to get the maps that have the upgrades on but you know it's I guess it is what it is <clears throat> if you really want to try them out you'll you'll pay the extra money but it's uh yeah, I don't I don't really mind paying for the year one pass and so on because it uh well the year one pass made sure that there was a year two pass and the year two pass made sure there was a year three pass, you know? Developers aren't going to be doing this for free, so um we do get basically more game for a buck and in and, and this game you do for sure. Because uh, you usually, I think you get three maps or three areas per year. Um, so you, you and you only pay like twenty five dollars, I think, if it's on sale. Um, so it's not bad at all, as far as you're you're getting basically a whole game more of content. Even though a lot of the missions are exactly the same. But uh, you are getting more for your your money, so it's it's not like where you're buying one map for the year and then you get one truck and and that's it, right? Like it's there's a lot of money for or there's a lot of content for the money that you pay to get the uh, the year passes. So all right, well let's hope we uh, made the right decision. We'll have to figure out where we come through. <clears throat> My guess is we're at the north side of the map. Um, yes. Yay, I was right. Okay, so we're right by a fueling center. And, uh, even better, we're right next to the clearing the way, so... I'm, I'm glad I decided to come this way. Yeah, see, the, the map colors here look really oversaturated. And I think it's because of the lack of fog. Um, could be the, the time of day, too. But yeah, we've got a... I don't think that's a task. I think that is a speed challenge or speed run. Uh, but I might... might have to check it out. Just because it's, it doesn't show up on the map. And uh, you know what? While I'm here, we're going to take a little detour. But we're going to be smart about this detour. And we're going to detach the trailer. Um, I don't like where we detach this. It looks like it would be almost impossible to get back underneath it. Let's go down the hill a ways. There we go. Let's detach the trailer there. That's better. All right. And uh, yeah, let's just go straight into the mud. And apparently over a stump. Alright, so this looks horribly flooded out, but I think we'll be okay. There's definitely something here. If it's a task, that would be me. Oh, it's an upgrade. What? It's an upgrade and it's not even shown on the map. That's a pleasant surprise. 
Look at that. That just shows you to keep your eyes peeled because I think I've been here two or three times and never bothered to look to see what this was. I'm actually hoping now that it's a uh, upgrade that I that I want to use. <laughs> Um, hey, look at that! Holy crap, it is! It's an, <laughs> it's an engine for this truck. And uh, a couple other trucks, but uh, more importantly for this truck. Uh, which means, probably gonna lose our amazing uh, fuel economy, but maybe we'll have more power. And more power means more speed. I, I think a wise man said that once. Um, and I don't think it was Tim the Tulo Man Taylor. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and try to get out of this mud. Come on. We gotta at least, at least clear the way <laughs> before we end this. Uh, before we end this episode, but I think we have we have 20 minutes left, so I think we'll be okay. <laughs> I don't think there's gonna be any issues. In fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, refill while we're here. I mean, it, it only makes sense, right? We've got a trailer. We got fuel. We've got time. We're full on gas now, and we can uh, let's just sneak through here. I'm gonna regret this if I end up rolling over. Nope. I didn't. I didn't think I would. But in this game, you never know. You never know in this game. The simplest little bump can cause you to roll over and flip. Oh! Oh! Wow! Yeah, just ram it in there. That's how you attach a trailer. <laughs> All right. But yeah, so like the smallest bumps I've, I've, I've flipped over before. Or the slightest hill. It's, it's kind of crazy. But then you have other spots where you're like, yeah, I'm so falling over. And then you don't. So I don't know. It, it's just one of those pleasant things with this game and uh, completely catch you off guard. I think that's why I keep playing. Squeeze through here. Uh, get the tires wet. Ooh, apparently the trailer get a little wet too. All right, we are almost there. Kind of excited to uh, throw the new engine in this uh, bad boy and see how well it does. It's unfortunate that there's no way to increase the uh, the steering sensitivity, but let's go ahead and unload this. There we go, we got a whopping 5,500 bucks, which uh, really wasn't that much for how much work we just had to do. Um, that was probably at least a full hour of work just to get those two, uh, two metal beams. So we've got the quarry down here. We do have a task called oil sampling. Um, but we haven't actually activated it yet, so we can't do it from the menu. Uh, we are a long ways away from there right now, so let's uh, let's take a look here. What's uh... oh, that's logging? That's logging, and that's logging. So yay, we've got logging to do. Uh, we need to get a fuel service carrier. Okay, so it's that guy there. Perfect. 
Uh, although we do have a trailer. So that's going to be a bad thing. We do have to pull it there. You know what? I think we can do it. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Did they really clear the way at all? Like, what did they do? Remove the one tree? What did you need metal beams for that for? That, that's kind of ridiculous. I think what we can do is uh, tug <laughs> the fuel trailer with this trailer so that we don't have to get rid of this trailer. At least that's the plan. If I can uh, back this trailer up. Oh, must be stumps. No, there's stumps. Come on. Are you kidding me? Alright, well, you know what? Let's, uh... We'll attach the winch. Right there. Well, you know what? That kind of worked. <laughs> this is this is not very pretty. But you know what? We're uh, we'll we'll get this turned around. And yeah, we're good to go there. All right. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave this trailer here. We're gonna have a nice little blockade of trailers. We've got a fuel trailer here, which is completely, absolutely useless because there's a fuel center right there. Uh, but we're going to leave that here for now as well. So let's uh, detach the trailer. We'll just leave it. It's fine. We're not short of money. And honestly, I don't know if I'm ever going to come back and get these trailers. I wanted to do Michigan. Uh, but at the same time, I'm just like... It's one of those things. I don't want to pick up my toys. Let's just put it that way. It's, it's like I'm stepping all over again. Alright. I think, yep, here we go. We just got fuel, so we should be good there. We could have probably pulled this with the trailer, but it, I just think it's going to be a lot awkward. Trailer. I don't know how it allowed me to do that. But it did. Right. Now we don't have to take it very far, do we? Where did it go? I love when it does that. Um. Pretty sure it was, uh... What the heck happened to it? Wasn't that one. Wasn't Pathfinders. That one's logging, that one's logging, that one's logging. Oh, no, here it is. All right, service hub recovery. Jeez. All right, so let's uh, let's get a marker on that just in case if it disappears again. Apparently I never uh, activated it, which kind of seems to be the moral of today's, uh, today's story. So All right, hopefully we can get this done. I think we can. Should just have to go left here and then follow this road around.
if we do get this done, at least we got two things done in this episode. Like, my, my chapters are going to be horrible. It's going to be intro and then completing clearing the way 50 minutes later. I, I might have to step in there and be like, oh, we go get fuel, we go get the tanker, we go drop off the trailer, we, we do this, we do that kind of thing. Just to break up the, uh, the long, <laughs> monotonous uh, travel that that was. Um, so the, yeah, this looks like a fun hill. Holy crap. Well, that was exciting and fun. That's something I would have loved going down on my dirt bike uh, as a kid. Oh, not so much. And I, I realized I said dirt bike. I meant BMX. Uh, unfortunately, I was never lucky enough to have parents that would allow me to buy a dirt bike. In fact, I'm pretty sure if I bought a dirt bike nowadays, my parents would still yell at me and I'm a grown man. So I'm a grown man who plays video games. Yeah, I said it. I said it out loud. You know what? It's okay. I'm okay with it. <laughs> oh man. Anyways. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna cut through this lumber yard. They uh, they won't mind. Yeah, we're only a quarter of a mile away, so we should be there in no time at all. Come on. There we go. Let's take it nice and slow. Nice and easy, right? I think that's that's all this truck does is, is slow. <laughs> It is, uh, it, it's not the fastest truck, but then again, it, it may just be the slowest truck. It feels like it anyways when you're driving it, but it's good. That's the thing. I, it's hard to tip over. It's hard to get stuck, uh, but it's slow and the turning sucks. So, you know, you get your bonuses and you get your negatives. So, and apparently this road is extremely bouncy. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're gonna make it. We're gonna do it. Yay! Go us! Alright, uh, problem is, is I just don't know where I'm going. Oh, look at that. You just go straight. Basically, right where that water is. You turn right, and you're good to go. Hopefully that picked up. Um, don't really know what's going on with my OBS right now. It's, uh, freaking out. So hopefully it's still recording. Um, not the greatest of things, but eh, we'll see. Just the, uh, it's just moving very, very, very slow. All right, so let's drop this off. Yay, oh wow, 2,500 bucks, just like that. All right, cool. Um, Doesn't look like there was, I, I, I kind of assumed. And there's a trailer store here. Yes. Uh, so what we can do is, yeah, we'll have to bring these trailers back. Probably that trailer too. Start cleaning some stuff up. That's, that's all I gotta say. Uh, there's a small uh, scout trailer there. That's kind of useless. There's a fuel station. There's a fire watch. That's just a time trial and more importantly there's a trailer store so all right I think we're gonna end it here uh, but first let's see we gotta drag secure tainers four that is a massive mission Four secured trailers. I hope those aren't. I hope at the minimum those are two slots. 
I mean, ideally it would be amazing if they were one slot, but if they are four slots, that would be... That will be insane. Um, but yeah, we'd have to go back to the Drowned Lands for that. Um, so I think that one I'm going to skip for now. Pathfinder. That's just finding the gateway to the rift. So that I'm going to skip for now. Um... Geo search. I don't have the module for that yet. Uh, uplink. I was basically getting stuff to the rift, so that's out of the question. And then this was all... Okay, this is doable. But yeah, we're still going to have to drive all the way back to uh, the Drowned Land, so... Truck Repair Services, Warehouse Access, Truck Repair Services. Okay. There's Late Inspection. That looks like it's a task. That might have just popped up when I unlocked this. Um, Alright, I think this is what we're going to do. It's, it's the one that makes sense. Uh, so what we can do is actually grab back, we can go back, grab this flatbed, and then we'll take that into uh, the Drowned Lands. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that, and then we're going to do that. And maybe even stop and get gas, who knows. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, we're going to stop this episode right there. Um, so we'll be doing the repair shop restock, which is probably getting this place up and running. And uh, yeah, I'll swing by it. I'll pick up that uh, the task there so that we can do that when we get a chance. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next episode. So if you uh, like today's episode, which was uh, quite daunting actually, uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Tell me why. Nobody's told me why they've given me thumbs down. They just gave me thumbs down. So um, I don't uh, I don't see those people as uh, equals. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and enjoy uh, more content from Diddly Squat Gaming and myself. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.